Hi, this is um, Adrian at St. Andrew's Rectory. Um, I'm doing a practice run using Facebook Live um, uh, before Sunday when we do our big launch of our Sunday morning services online. So I want to make sure that I get this right. So I'm going to read Noonday Prayer, um, and I'd be really interested in any feedback from you. Um, a lot of this is about you know where to look in the camera and other such things. So um, here goes. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. When our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy, then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. From the Holy Scriptures. If anyone is in Christ, they are in a new creation. The old has passed away, behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled himself to us and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. This is from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and for ever. Amen. Now a time for, for prayer, for free intercession, and I want to pray for all of us and our nation at this time as we... Um, face this um, COVID-19 um, challenge. I particularly remember our doctors and nurses, our first responders, and those who are battling on the front line of this disease. But I also remember the vulnerable, um, the people who are susceptible to this disease. Um, I remember people who are alone, um, live alone, and do not have the support of a wider community. So let us pray for them. Also pray for people of limited resources um, who don't have the money or the ability to, to stock up on food or other such things, or who are very concerned about, um, about where their next paycheck will come from. And I pray for our government at this time as they um, seek to, to manage this crisis. Pray that the Holy Spirit will rest upon them and give them strength and courage and wisdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, and I remember all of you in my prayers and, and uh, give thanks for this community of which we're a part that is here to, um, to offer us comfort and strength and to remind us that God is ever with us. Um, as we celebrate our 125th anniversary, uh, it's a reminder that um, our church has, has been through many cycles of history, both um, um, times of prosperity and buoyancy, but also times of challenge, uh, like this, and that we've been here for each other. 
so um with my prayers and best wishes and also um this may not be a time of, of craziness particularly if you have kids at home um and i hope you're thinking of 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 uh of of ways to to uh, of, of routines and, and and ways to to be together so with my many blessings i look forward to seeing you tomorrow when um at 10 o'clock we'll be um having a service of of morning prayer i will be leading the service uh the Reverend Sarah Robbins Cole, who is my wife, chaplain of Wellesley College and also rector of St. Michael's and Hollison, will be our preacher. And members of St. Michael's Hollison will be also um, joining us for the service. And it's great to know that, uh, that, that we're not just one community, but part of a wider diocese. Okay. God bless you all. And uh, I hope this went well. Uh, bye bye.